What is going on already? My name is Dizzy Viper and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create neon sign or neon tube materials. Um, and I do this because it was highly requested on my how to make a neon sign uh, tutorial, which I uploaded a few months ago, where it was um, not mentioned how to create the materials. And uh, I simply did not say how to create the materials because the materials were just uh, emissive materials. Like there was nothing special to it. Um, but it was still requested. So now we'll show you two different methods on how to make neon materials. One will be a material for the neon signs I usually use, which is just the emissive material, and another technique for some more realistic and reflective uh, neon tubes. So first I'm going to be showing you how to create an emissive material and then use it for a neon sign. So let me just load in a quick neon sign to show you. So here we have the exact same scene as I used for the other neon sign tutorial. Um, and I'm now going to show you how to light it up. So the first thing you're going to do is you create a new octane material like this and now you go into your black body emission and inside your texture tab you simply select a color node. And right in here I'm going to use a red color for now. And right here I always click surface brightness and that just ensures that every character of your neon sign that has this material has the same brightness. And now I'm just going to apply this material to all my characters, which are these four cylinders here, um, which are triggered by the splines to just make the characters. So right here, I'm just going to put these on here, right there, right there, and right there. So now you can already see that we have a lit up neon sign. It might be a little too bright, so we're just going to maybe turn it down slightly. Maybe even turn the saturation down also, a little bit like this. So now we have the red part of our neon sign. And now we have also these outlines right here, which you can see here, these neon tubes. And I'm gonna make these blue. So I'm just gonna create a new octane material, or you can also just copy the old one and change the color like this. And I'm gonna make a blue material, maybe like that. Maybe even a little turquoise, I don't know. Maybe I stick to blue with that. And now this should be this one right here. So let's make that blue. There we go. And now we have this also lighting up. And I think the brightness of this is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I do to light up my neon signs. And now I'm going to show you the technique on how to make it a little bit more detailed in case you want some close ups. Um, I'm going to go into this new project I created right here which has a pre-made neon tube right here. Well, it's not a really a neon tube, it's just a couple of cylinders uh, to show the technique. And I also wrote in an HDRI to better showcase the reflections. I'm gonna just make these two cylinders right here, which are the ends gray, so they, they don't light up. And now we just start the same as before, we create a new, new octane material. But this time we're gonna select a universal material. You can also, as an alternative, choose a mixed material. I just find it more easy to uh, use a universal material. I'm gonna turn the metallic a little bit down, maybe to about here, which gets a slight glassy look like that. And now I'll again go into the emission tab, black body emission, and this time we're gonna add a gradient, like this. And inside the gradient you will have two of these knots. Make both of them black. And now insert a middle one, make it white. You can also redistribute the knots so it's in the exact middle. So now you already see that we have um, a gradient that goes from black to white and back to black. And that is because neon tubes tend to be the brightest in the middle and the darkest at the very outside. And I'll also adjust these a little bit since we don't want our neon tube to be very dark. And also set your type to V. And now you simply apply the material to your neon tube like that. As you can see, there is nothing really changed right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn down the brightness a little bit, a little more, and as you can see, the dark spots on our neon tube start to appear. Like this maybe. This one, this looks actually quite good, I think. Like this. Oops. So as you can see, now we have this neon tube like that, and we have a bonus if we zoom in a little bit and adjust the angle, like that you can see that we have a reflection on it. Um, and yeah, that, that's the second method I use sometimes for um, alleys and stuff where I need the reflections to be seen and especially those dark spots on the side 
which I think add a little nice touch to it. Um, but other than that, that's uh, all I do to create neon signs and I apologize that I did not um, include this in the other tutorial. And yeah, um, I hope it helped you. If it did, um, please leave a like and if you have any further questions, just ask them down in the comment section down below and I will be happy to ask them. Other than that, thank you for watching again and have a nice day. That's